Hello everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and today what we're going to be working on is this beautiful piece right here. This is a scarf that I designed from the same pattern that I used over in the Lacy Poncho. And what I have done differently with this, on this particular piece I have a chain going down the center. This right here is our center. And then I've worked that stitch over this way in two repeats. And then I've come onto the other side of that same chain and I've worked again two repeats on this side and that is what ended up forming this really really beautiful pattern it kind of takes on a whole new life of its own here with some diamond shapes in the center and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to do this particular piece but instead of doing the chain we're going to do a more beginner friendly version of it with the um, foundation ovals and I've also got down in the description all of the information you need. This is size one here, but if you're wanting to do it in a bulky yarn, I will have the information about your counts and everything down in the description along with how you can do it in a cowl, an infinity scarf, or just your regular run-of-the-mill scarf. And the um, repeat on this one actually is four foundation ovals plus one at the end. So if you're wanting to adjust from the information that I'm providing in the description, you can do it right here. I'm showing it in worsted weight size four yarn. So there are three different yarn sizes. I've also got the uh, size three, size two, slash size three um, counts and all down in the description. So regardless of whatever yarn you have, whatever way you want to work this up, I've got all that information down below. We're going to go ahead and jump immediately over to the tutorial. This is going to be a multi-part tutorial because this is eight rows to do one of these. This is what I call a repeat. This is eight rows to do this piece right here. And that it means the tutorials are very long. But as you saw with these two little workups that I have here, you can do that. This is eight rows and this when worked on the other side. You're going to end up with a piece that is a good 10 to 12 inches wide. So that would be a perfect size for a nice, wide, pretty scarf. So if you are using size 4 or, or the bulky size yarns, you're going to have to do 8 rows unless you want to do more and you'll be finished. So everyone else, you'll follow over to the part 2. And then, of course, I will do a part 3 if necessary to show the uh, pom-pom border that I added to this piece and how to work that. If I can, I will come up with a couple other little border options. Tassels are always an option. I won't be showing a tassel because that's a whole lot of yarn and I don't usually do tassels on my pieces. But I will have everything down below. So let's get started with the tutorial. All right, so if you are ready to get started, gonna grab your yarn, your hook size, you have referred down to the description below to find all the different counts so that you can do this piece in whatever yarn you choose. And we're gonna get started by doing a slip knot. And how I prefer to do my slip knots is I've got my tail on my yarn right here in my hand, over here on the right hand. And I like to wrap my yarn around my fingers, just like so. And then I like to bring the working tail I like to go ahead and bring it over into the center. So I've got it like this. I'm grabbing it with my thumb and my index finger, bringing it over into the center between my two fingers. Then I pinch down and I pull up, and that is how I make my slip knot. So we're gonna go ahead to start your foundation ovals for this piece. I'm gonna be doing a short repeat on this, and I will tell you where the repeat begins so that you can rewind back if you need help finishing out your row. But due to the length of the tutorial, we're gonna have to keep it as short as possible. So right now what we're going to do is we've got our um, loop right here, our uh, slip knot on our hook, and we're going to wrap our yarn, and we're going to go ahead and pull through the loop doing a chain. We're going to go ahead and chain four more times. So one, two, three. So I'm sorry, that's four chains. You're doing a total of four chains. Now you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook, and I've, called, I've heard this called a... Um, treble crochet, that's what I call it, and I've also heard it called a triple crochet. So wrap your yarn around your hook twice, and then you're gonna come down here to this first chain that you made, and you're gonna insert your hook, and you're gonna grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Now you're going to grab your yarn again and pull through two loops, grab your yarn again and pull through two loops, grab your yarn again and pull through two loops. So now we've made our first foundation oval. 
So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same thing again until you've reached the desired number of foundation ovals for your piece. And like I said, cowl through, regular scarf, all that information is in the description. So I'm going to chain up four again. So here's my first chain and I want you to go ahead and pinch there. Pinch that first chain you made. Now go ahead and chain three more times. Here's my second, third, and fourth. So we've got a total of four chains. We're going to wrap our yarn again twice around our hook just like that and we're going to come back here to where we're pinching and that's where we're going to insert our hook into that first chain that we made again. You're going to grab your yarn, pull through the loop, you're pulling up that loop right there, you're going to pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and pull through two loops. And we're going to do that one more time together and then I'll have you pause the video and move on. So we're going to chain one and now we're going to pinch now we're going to chain three more, two, three, and four. So we've got a total of four chains. We're going to wrap our yarn twice around our hook, just like that. You can use your finger to kind of pinch it and hold it in place if it's slipping on you. And you're going to go down here to where you pinched, and you're going to go into that very first chain. So you're always inserting your hook right above that last foundation oval, so the chain right above it. Now we're going to pull up a loop. We're going to wrap our yarn and pull through two wrap again and pull through two, wrap one more time and pull through two. So continue on, pause right here when you've got all your foundation ovals ready. You're going to come back and follow along with me. All right, so we are back and if you are going to do any adjustment, again, it is four foundation ovals is your uh, multiple plus one at the end. So four of these is what we need to work one of those pattern repeats. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So you've got all your foundation ovals and you're going to go ahead and chain up three. One, two, and three. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go right here into this first foundation oval and we're going to do a single crochet. So you're going to insert your hook right there into that foundation oval. Grab your yarn and pull up the loop. So now we've got those two loops on our hook. We're going to grab our yarn again and pull through two loops. And that is your single crochet. So now we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to move over here to this next foundation oval right here, and we are going to do a single crochet again right there into that foundation oval. So you're going to do one more single crochet. So now we've got two of those chain two spaces essentially. We're going to chain two again, one and two, and we are going to do scoot that stitch over and we're going to do our single crochet right here back into that same foundation oval just like so. Now we're going to begin the repeat. So this is going to be what you do for the remainder of your row. You are going to chain three, one, two, and three, and you're going to jump over here to your next foundation oval. Just make sure you're not twisting your ovals. You don't want to twist them up, and you're going to go ahead with your chain three on your hook. You're going to wrap your yarn, and you're going to do three double crochets into this next foundation oval. So let's do three double crochets. There's our first one. And if you need a refresher, you're going to wrap your yarn, insert into this oval right here, pull up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook. You're going to pull through two, grab your yarn, and pull through two. And that is a uh, double crochet. So we're going to do our third one right here, just like this. And now we're going to chain three again. So we're going to do one, two, and three. And now we're going to jump over here to this foundation oval, the very next one. So we're going to come over here and we're going to do a single crochet. And now we are going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to do a single crochet right back here into the same foundation oval, just like that. Now we're going to chain two again, one and two, and we're going to come over here into this very next foundation oval and we're going to do a single crochet. Now we're going to chain two again and we're going to go right back here into the same foundation oval and we're going to do a single crochet. Now we're going to chain two again, one and two, and we're moving over to this next foundation oval and we're going to do a single crochet. Just like that. Now we're going to chain two again one last time and we're going to do a single crochet right back here into the same foundation oval. 
that is the end of your repeat. You're going to go back and you're going to check your counts. You want to have on this particular row, all the way down, you want to have five of these chain two spaces to work in into our next row. So we've got one there. Here's number two right here. Here's number three. Kind of hard to see, but they are there. Here's four, and this one is five. So they're all there. They're kind of hard to see, but they exist. So now you're going to continue. You want to rewind back if you need help, but you are going to be doing a chain three, three double crochets, chain three, single crochet into the next foundation oval, chain two, single crochet into the same foundation oval, chain two, single crochet into the next foundation oval, chain two, single crochet into the same foundation oval, chain two, single crochet into the next foundation oval, chain two, single crochet, and then you're going to begin your repeat again with three, um, you're going to chain three and start all over again. And I will do my best to put the markings of where this begins for that rewind. So you're going to pause the video here and continue to work on down the rest of your row, and then when you get to your last three foundation ovals, that's where we want to meet back up. So when you have three left, you want to come back and restart your video. And for me, we are going to continue on. We're going to chain three. Got our three ovals left. We're going to go ahead and do three double crochets into this next foundation oval. There's number one. I'm going to pull out some more yarn real quick. Here's number two. And here is number three. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and we're going to move into our next foundation oval, so this one right here, and we're going to do a single crochet right there into that little oval. We're going to chain two, and we're going to do a single crochet right back here into the same exact foundation oval. Now we're going to chain two, one, and two, and we're going to move over here to this next foundation oval, and we're going to do a single crochet. And now to end this row, you're going to chain one. And I like to do a half double crochet right over here into the end of the row, right here where we began. So I'm going right here past my foundation oval essentially. And I'm gonna pull up a loop. I've got three loops on my hook. I'm gonna pull through all three loops and that is how I'm gonna end that row. So now we're gonna go ahead and move up to our next row by chaining one, so just one chain. And now we're gonna turn our work. And now we're going to chain, we've chained one, and we are going to do, I'm sorry, not a chain, but we've chained one, and we're going to do a single crochet right here into that chain one space that we just made. Do one single crochet. Now we're going to chain two, one and two, and you are going to jump over to this chain two space that we made on the previous row and do a single crochet. And now you're going to chain two again, one and two and you are going to jump over here into this chain two space that we made. We're going to do a single crochet right into that. And now this begins your repeat on this row. You're going to chain three and this is the beginning of the repeat. So one, two, and three. And we are moving over here into these double crochets from the previous row and we're going to work two double crochets right here into this very first one. Right there in the top, let's do our first one. Here's one. And now we're going to go right back into that, oops, sorry, <laughs> same chain space. And we are going to do a, another double crochet right there into that same double crochet. So we've got two stitches worked into that one space. Now we're going to do a double crochet right here in the center. Just like so. And now we're going to end this section by doing two double crochets right here into that third double crochet from the previous row. So there's my first one, and here is my second. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and we're going to move over there here to these chain two spaces that we made, and we're going to do a single crochet in the very first one. So we are skipping over this chain three right here, this chain three space. We're moving right over here into this chain two, the very first one. So let's do a single crochet in that, and now we're going to chain two and move over to the next chain two space right here. 
and we're going to do a single crochet into that one. And now we're going to chain two again, and we're going to move over here. We're going to identify our next chain two space, and we're going to do a single crochet into that one. We're going to chain two again, and we're going to find our next uh, chain two space right here. And we're going to do a single crochet into that one. We're going to chain two again, and we're going to move over, and this is going to be the end of our repeat. We're going to do a single crochet right here into that chain two space. And that is the end of our repeat. So you're going to rewind back, and like I said, I'll try to make sure I put the marks in there so you know where to go to, but you're going to do a chain three next. You're going to do two double crochets in the first double crochet from the previous row, one double crochet in the center, two double crochets in the last chain three, and then you're going to start doing your single crochet chain twos until you've worked into all five of those loops, those chain two loops that we made on the previous row. And you want to go ahead and pause the video here, finish out your row, and then meet back up with me when you've got your last three stitches left, your, your last three ovals left to work in, or what was your ovals. We're going to do those last three all together. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and work on, it's going to be chain three, and I'm going to do two double crochets into my next stitch. It's my double crochet from the previous row, just like that. And then I'm going to do a double crochet in the center. And then I'm going to do two double crochets right there at the end, together in the same exact stitch. And then I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. And I'm right here, I've got my last of my chain two loops. I'm going to do a single crochet in the very first one. So I've skipped over this chain three from the previous row, I'm doing a single crochet right there into that chain two space. Now I'm going to chain two again, one and two. And I'm going to do a single crochet into the next chain two space. And now I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to do a half double crochet right here into this chain three from the previous row. So I'm going to work right into that. And that is how I end out my row. So I've got two chain two spaces here at the end, and down here at this end I also have two chain two spaces. So we're beginning and ending in the exact same manner. And now what we're going to do is we're going to chain three to move up to our next row. One, two, and three. And we're going to turn our work. And now we're going to do a single crochet right here into this first chain two space. And we're going to do a chain two. Oops. And we are going to do a single crochet into this next chain two space. And now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And now we're going to move over here to our double crochets and we're going to work a double crochet into the very first double crochet from the previous row. We're going to do a double crochet in the very next double crochet from the previous row. And now we're here at the center and we're going to do two double crochets in the next double crochet. So we're working two stitches right there into the top of that double crochet. Two double crochets into that one. And now we're going to do a double crochet in the very next stitch. And we're going to do a double crochet in the very next double crochet. And all that's the work from the previous row. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And by the way, this chain four was the beginning of our repeat. I forgot to say that. I'll mark that in the video for you. Now we're going to do a single crochet. We're going to skip over this chain three and do a single crochet right here into that chain two space. Now we're going to chain two. And we're going to do a single crochet right here into the next chain two space. So just like we did before, we're going to do our chain two single crochets, working into each of those chain two loops from the previous row just like that. Chain two, and we're over here at our very last one, and we're going to do a single crochet. So 
on each row you're dropping down the first row we started out we had five of those chain two loops on the next row we had four and on this row we have three chain two loops and that's the end of the repeat so if you are going to what you're going to want to do is finish out your row your beginning of your repeat is the chain four then you work double crochet your double crochets there's a total of if you look right here we keep increasing those, so you've got a total of six double crochets now. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, chain four, and then a single crochet, chain two in each of those uh, single cro or in each of those chain two spaces from the previous row. So you're going to work on down. You're going to pause the video here, and we will meet back up when you have just the end section to work together, so that I can show you how to finish out this row. All right, and you should be back with me now, and we're going to work this last section all together. So we're going to do our double crochets into our double crochets from the previous row. We're going to do one in the first stitch, one in the next stitch, and then we are going to do two in the very next stitch. This is our center. So we're going to do two into this next stitch, just like so right back working into that same exact stitch I'm going to go two in there and now we're going to do a double crochet in the very next double crochet from the previous row and we're going to do a double crochet in the very next double crochet from the previous row and now we're going to chain four one two three and four and we're going to skip over that chain three from the previous and we're going to find that chain two space that we made we're going to do a single crochet right there into that. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to hop over here to this next chain two space that we made in the previous row. We're going to do a single crochet right there. And now we're going to chain one and we're going to find that single crochet that we did at the end of the previous row and we're going to do a half double crochet into that. So we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook. We're going to insert it into that single crochet pulling up a loop try not to split your yarn now we're going to grab our yarn and we're going to pull through all three loops that are on our hook just like that and now that ends that row and we're going to do a single crochet or I'm sorry a chain and we're going to turn our work and do our single crochet so we're going to chain one to move up and then we're going to do a single crochet right here into that chain one space that we just created and now we're going to chain two one and two and we're going to hop over here to this chain two space and we're going to do a single crochet. And now we are going to chain four and this begins our repeat for this row. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And we're going to move over into our double crochets and we're going to do a double crochet, chain one into each and every stitch. So there's a total of six double crochets down there and we're going to do a double crochet in the very first stitch and we're going to chain one and now we're going to do a double crochet into the very next stitch and we're going to chain one we're going to do a double crochet into the very next stitch and we're going to chain one and we're going to do a double crochet into the very next stitch and we are going to chain one double crochet into the very next stitch chain one right after that and we're going to do a double crochet into the very last double crochet in from the previous row so that's what we have here now we're going to chain four one two three oops three and four and we're going to move over skip over that chain four from the previous row we're going to move over to our chain two space and do a single crochet now we're going to chain two and we're going to do a single crochet into the next chain two space we're going to chain two again and we're going to do a single crochet into the next chain two space so the previous row we had two or three chain two spaces and this row we have two chain two spaces and that's the end of your repeat now you're going to chain four 
and you're going to carry on doing your double crochet chain ones, chain four, and do a single crochet chain two into each of the single crochets or into each of the chain two spaces from the previous row. So you're going to pause the video here and you will go ahead and work out the rest of your row. If you are with me practicing this, you are going to move on with a chain four because we are going to do those last few sections here together. So I've got to do a chain four and then I'm going to do a double crochet into the next double crochet from the previous row. Chain one, double crochet into the next stitch and do a chain one double crochet into the very next stitch until we've worked into all six of those. So we're going to do the double crochet chain one until we've worked into each of the double crochets, all six of them from the previous row. And we're going to go ahead and finish this out together. And there's my last, oops, last double crochet. Now I'm going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to come over here to this chain two space and I'm going to do a single crochet. And now I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to do a single crochet here into that chain one space that we created from the previous row. I'm going to do my single crochet right into that space. And that ends that row. So we're going to do a chain one and we're going to turn our work to move up to our next row. I'm going to go ahead and pull out some more yarn. Now to move up to this next one, I've got that chain one right there. I'm going to go ahead and add two more to it. So I'm going to do a total of three chains right there at the end of that row. And I'm going to move here into my chain two space and I'm going to do a single crochet. So that very first one, I'm going to do a single crochet. So it looks just like that right there at the beginning of that row. And now I'm going to begin my repeat and I'm going to chain five this time to move on up to those double crochets. So to begin your repeat, you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now what we're going to do is this, these double crochet chain ones from the previous row. We're going to do a double crochet into each one with a chain two in between. So you're going to have a total of six of those when you finish. So that's my first double crochet. Now I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to work into each of those stitches with a double crochet, chain two. So in the top of each of my double crochets from the previous row, I'm going to do another double crochet. Just like so. I'm going to chain two. Move over to the next stitch and do a double crochet right into the top of it. I'm going to chain two. Move over to my very next double crochet and do a double crochet right there into the top of that stitch. Now I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to do a double crochet right there into the top of that very next stitch. Now I'm going to chain five. One, two, three. Move my yarn out of the way four and five and I'm going to come over here to those chain two spaces and I'm going to do a single crochet right there into that first chain two space. So I've skipped over that chain um, from the previous row. It was a chain four in that case. I'm skipped over that and moved right over here into the chain two space that we created and done a single crochet. Now I'm going to chain two and I'm going to move over here to this next chain two space and I'm going to do a single crochet. Now I'm going to chain five. That's the end of my repeat. So when you've done your chain two space, single crochet, that's the end of your repeat. You're going to chain five and then work a double crochet, chain two into each of the double crochets from the previous row, chain five, and then you're going to do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet so that you only have one chain two space left. Only one in this row. So each row we've been reducing. 
So you're going to pause the video here and you're going to go ahead and work down the rest of your row. And for me, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. I've got three, four, and five. I'm going to chain five and I'm going to work this last section here with you. So we're going to work that together so you can see how you do the end of that row. So I'm going to do a double crochet, chain two, just like we've been doing. And we're going to work one into each and every stitch, chain two, double crochet into the next double crochet from the previous row, chain two, double crochet into the next double crochet from the previous row, chain two, and I'm going to double crochet into the next double crochet from the previous row, chain two, and double crochet into the next double crochet from the previous row. And now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to come over here. We've got this one space left, this one chain two space. And we're going to do a single crochet right into that. So we've skipped over our chain four from the previous row. Working right there into that chain two, we're going to do a single crochet. Now we're going to chain one. And we are going to end this by doing a half double crochet right here into that single crochet from the previous row. So if you're looking at your work, and hopefully my camera will focus for you guys, you're gonna go right there into that chain two, pull up a loop, and then pull through all three loops on your hook. And if you notice, we're keeping a nice straight edge there on that side, and it's working out just fine. So now to begin the next row, we are going to chain one, and we're gonna turn our work and we're going to do a single crochet right there into the top of that double crochet if we can. If you cannot find that stitch, you're going to do a single crochet right there in that chain one space. Either way, it's going to work out perfectly. So now we're going to begin our repeat by doing a chain six. So this is the beginning of your repeat. We're going to chain six. So I've got five and six. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do three double crochets into each of these chain two spaces that we created. So we're going to do three double crochets in this first chain two space in between your double crochets from your previous row. We're going to do three double crochets in there. There's my second, and here's my third. And we are not going to chain anything. We're just going to jump over here to this next chain two space, and we're going to do three double crochets. just like that. And there's my third one. Again, without chaining anything, no chaining between this, we're going to jump over to that next space and do three double crochets. Now we're going to jump over here to our next chain two space and do three double crochets without chaining anything. You do not chain in between these. You're setting up for your final row. Three. Now we're going to go here into this last one and we're going to do three double crochets. Then we're going to chain six. So as soon as we finish these up and we have done all of them, take a look at the work so you can see what we're doing here. Now we are going to chain six and we're going to go down to that one little lonely chain two space and we are going to do a single crochet right into the top of them. So we're skipping over all of this and we're coming right here in the center of our work and we're going to do a single crochet right there. And that is the end of, that re of what your repeat is for this row. So you're going to chain six and do three double crochets into each of your chain two spaces that you created. Each of those from the previous row in between your double crochets, you're gonna chain, do the, um, double crochets three of them to each of the chain two spaces without chaining anything in between and you're going to pause here and you're going to meet back up with me when you're ready to finish out your row so i'm going to go ahead and move on we're going to do six chain six three four five and six i'm going to pull out some more yarn and now i'm going to do three double crochets into each of those chain two spaces. So I'm working right here, skipped over the chain five, and I'm gonna do three double crochets. 
right there into that chain two space. And I'm going to go ahead and move over to my very next one. Doing this kind of fast so that we can get this video uploaded sometime tonight before midnight. I will slow down when we get here to the end, don't worry. There's one double crochet, two, and three. Now I've got one chain two space left. I'm going to go ahead and work three double crochets into that. Just like so. Got three. And here's number four. And now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to skip over this chain five and we've got this one little space right here is our chain three on the previous row. We're going to go ahead and do a single crochet right there into that. And that is going to finish out that row. And now we are ready to move on to our last row for this repeat. It's a total of eight rows per repeat. So this is what your work is looking like so far. And we're going to go ahead and chain up 11 to start our next row. So let's chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we are now going to turn our work. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cluster together these sets of three double crochets. This right here, we're going to cluster those together. And to do that, we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook and we're going to go right here into this first double crochet. We're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two loops and we're going to hold it. So we've got two loops on our hook now. We're going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to insert our hook into the very next double crochet right there beside it. Pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. We've got three loops on our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn again and we're going to go into this very next double crochet right there on the top and we're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. So we've got four loops on our hook. And that's how we know we're finished. We're going to grab our yarn and we're going to turn our hook down and we're going to pull through all four loops on our hook. Now we're going to chain five. And that is basically the beginning of your repeat for this is the cluster chain five is going to be the beginning of that repeat. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we are going to wrap our yarn around our hook. And we're going to do the same thing in the next three double crochets from the previous row. So we're going to go ahead and cluster those together, wrap our yarn, pull up a loop, pull through two. Two loops on your hook. Go ahead and do your next one, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two. Three loops on our hook and we're going to hold it. Wrap our yarn, go into this very next double crochet. So we're working into each of those. We're going to have four loops on our hook. We're going to grab our yarn and pull through all four loops on our hook. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to wrap our yarn. We're going to go into this next double crochet. This is what our work's looking like. We're going to wrap our yarn and we're going to go in this next one. We're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. So we've got two loops on our hook. Going to wrap our yarn again, go into the very next double crochet, pull up a loop, pull through two, and we're going to hold it. We've got three loops on our hook. Going to wrap our yarn again, go into this very next double crochet, and we're going to pull up a loop, we're going to pull through two, and we're going to hold it. So we've got four loops on our hook. We know we're done. Grab our yarn, pull through all four loops. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to do the next set of three double crochets. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to cluster those together. And that is how you're going to work down this entire section, working into each of those in sets of three. And then we're going to chain five in between. Three, four, and five. All right, so I've got one more set left to do. I'm going to go ahead and cluster that last set together, just like so. 
And then we are going to do a chain seven. So once you've worked into each of those in sets of three, with your chain fives in between, you're going to chain seven, and that is going to be the end of your repeat. So the chain seven, three, four, five, six, seven is the end of your repeat. And now you're just going to go ahead and skip across all of this stitch work down here, all these chains, and you're going to go back to clustering in your three double crochets and sets of threes with chain fives in between. And when you get to your last set, we'll go ahead and do those together and end out that row. I'll show you how to do the very last stitch in this row is the trickiest stitch to me in the whole entire pattern. So you're going to pause the video here and you're going to go ahead and work on down until we meet back up. And I'm going to continue on. I'm going to do my cluster of my three double crochets. And you can use your finger to separate, by the way, if you're having trouble seeing. If you're a new newbie, beginner crocheter, you can just stick your finger in between those sets of threes so that you can see exactly what you're supposed to be working in. So I've got my first set of three double crochets, chain five. And I'm going to move over here to my next set. And I'm going to work into each of those in sets of threes, just like we've been doing. With a chain five in between. One, two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to work into my next set, just like so. And we're going to work into that. So once you get really familiar with this pattern, it goes by really quickly because you know exactly what you're doing. The rows are not too hard when you're breaking them down row by row, or hopefully you guys are not finding them to be too hard. So we're working on through those sets of three double crochets. Gonna get all of those clustered together, and then I'm gonna show you how to end out this row. Two, three, four, and five. And I've got one last set to do, so we're gonna do that one last set. And then we are going to do our chain seven after this. So once you get down there to the end, you're still doing the same thing you have been doing until we get into this very last little stitch. So we're going to chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to come over here and what we're going to do is we're going to, let's lay down our work real quick so we can take a look at this together. And if you look at it like I have it laid out here, this is the stitch that we're about to work into. And in this case, what we actually have to do um, is a chain three. So I apologize. One, two, three is what we're doing, not a chain seven. Because we're about to do a stitch that I don't even know the name of it. We're going to wrap our yarn around our hook a total of six times. So I've got three wraps right now and get back into frame. I'm going to do four and just use your finger to hang on to it. Five and six. So we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook six times. So technically if I were to spread this out, I've got seven loops there on my crochet hook. And you're going to use your finger to hold it. And we're going to come down here. We're going to skip over this chain five, or I'm sorry, this chain six from our previous row. Let's make sure I didn't just lose a stitch. Yes, I did. And we're going to come down here to that single crochet. And we're going to do insert our hook and pull up a loop. And we're going to pull through two. Try to keep it kind of tight. Pull through two. Pull through two. Pull through two loops. Pull through two loops. Pull through two loops. And pull through two loops. And that is how you end out that row. This is the end of the repeat. So if you have done this in a size four or bulky yarn and you just want one pattern repeat um, on each side of your scarf, then you're going to rewind the video and you're going to start working on your opposite side, working in the same exact way down the opposite side. And then you will end up with a piece that when they're laying together, I know these are two different colors, but... When they're laying together, you're going to have a piece that looks 
like this essentially it's not going to have this extra set of foundation ovals but you get the drift so these are two different size yarns this is a size three this is a size four and to give you an idea of your measurements on those when i did this in the size four yarn at the peak which i consider right here to be the peak so let me move this out of the way so our peak is right here at that peak we end up with something that is a total of six inches. So if you do this on the other side, you're going to have a 12 inch wide scarf. And I've only noticed about a one to two inch with the bulky, um, bulky being one to two inches larger. And this size three, I'm going to measure that for you real quick. At the peak it has worked up to be five and a half inches. Yep, five and a half inches at the peak. So if you were to do this on the other side, you're gonna have an 11 inch wide scarf. Now, if you are doing lace weight or if you want your scarf even wider, you're gonna continue on with me to part two. We're gonna have a part two of this tutorial and you will work over there and I will show you how to do the next section because it does change. And I can kind of give you an idea by looking at this chart right here. I've color coded it. Our beginnings over here, when we go to move up into this section, they are a little bit different. And that's why there's a part two. So if you're gonna do two repeats, because I call one of these right here, this full section, one repeat. So if you were going to do another set up here, another repeat, then you're gonna follow on and look at part two or work on part two with me next. If you are finished, you're just going to rewind the video and work on the opposite side of your scarf so that you can have a wider, really beautiful and look just like this, which is the size one yarn that I worked this up in. You'll be able to do this same thing with your bulky or your size four, size three yarns. So if you are finished, you're going to go ahead and rewind, work your other side. Otherwise, follow on over to part two. I will have that link down in the description along with all the other information, as always promised, so that you can substitute and use different yarns and get your counts right. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends. Thank you.